Well, we're back at it. Today is the 14th of September, 2010, Portland, Oregon, up in the Pacific Northwest. It's an overcast day. We're going to attempt a CUSO, or contact with the International Space Station. Amateur call sign is November Alpha 1, Sierra Sierra. We're coming up close on 1305 uh, local or 2005 UTC. All right, well, we're going to be using a Yezu FT-857, and I have it hooked up to an external antenna right now. It's uh, not a nice day outside. The uplink or transmit frequency is 144.490 dot four nine zero and keep an eye on this VFO variable frequency oscillator B the receive or downlink frequency is one four five dot eight zero zero because of the Doppler effect of the space station we will begin the pass with the radio set at one four five dot eight zero five at the middle or top of the pass, we'll have it set at 145.800, and at the tail end of the pass, 145.795. Uh, Again, that takes into account for the uh, Doppler effect, the speed of the aircraft. And if you don't know about Doppler effect, I'm going to refer you to a link down below uh, to a good YouTube buddy and fellow ham, Will, AI4QT who did a great little video on the uh, Doppler effect. Now I want to give a quick shout out before things get rolling here and hopefully we're going to make a good contact. Yesterday I posted a video where I listened to two hams talking back and forth. I figured out that one lives in Salem and the other lives in Vancouver, Washington, just north and east from where I live. I sent a um, email to the ham that lives up north. I wasn't able to find the email for the ham that lives south and uh, sent him a uh, link to the YouTube video that I posted. And typical of all hams that I've interacted with so far, just incredibly um, helpful. We had a couple of quick emails back and forth. Now he is an extra class ham radio operator, which is the top of the hierarchy in terms of our uh, licensing structure and uh, has passed two additional tests. The third one is extremely rigorous. Well, his last email that he sent me because I told him that I was a new ham and that I was working really hard to make some QSOs with the uh, International Space Station sent me a, a really nice uh, email with uh, about six or seven of the uh, websites that he uses to not only track the International Space Station but also I thought one of the most interesting links was a link that talked about um, or actually a link where you can download the crew's daily uh, schedule, or they call it a timeline. Now, if you think you have a busy schedule, I, in, I encourage you to go visit this website and download um, a timeline for the International Space Station crew. The, the timeline for today, uh, the 14th of September, is a four-page PDF document with the resolution of the schedule down to the five minute increment increment um, So pretty tight schedule with a lot of activities once I saw that I was even more thankful that we're able to contact and uh, Talk to the guys up in the space station with amateur radio because their schedule is Packed and tight and you would think they'd want to do everything they can do to uh, rest, but uh, they're dedicated and they get on the air and talk to the amateur radio operators on Earth and uh, very exciting for us and I'm told it's exciting for them too so anyway stay tuned and we're going to try a QSO. All right, well, we're just beginning the pass or just starting the beginning part of the pass and again because of the Doppler effect I have my downlink set at 145.805 and again I'm using a um, tracking uh, page that I downloaded from the uh, issfanclub.com and it gives all the details for the current pass. We're about two minutes into the pass. This is a not a high angle pass like I had yesterday and I am kicking myself that I, um, I didn't have my uh, uplink uh, frequency set correctly which I do today. 
but this is a little bit of a lower angle pass, so we might not have a whole lot of time. They're going to be um, probably about 30 degrees off the horizon here. November Alpha 1, Sierra Sierra, Kilo Foxtrot 7, Echo Tango X-Ray, Portland, Oregon. Uh, Kilo Foxtrot 7, Echo Tango X-Ray, name here is David, Portland, Oregon. Thank you so much for your service to our country and your dedication to amateur radio operators. And Kilo Foxtrot 7, X-Ray Tango Echo, we've got you all clear. Uh, you're very, very welcome. I think it's a lot of fun for us and, uh, and uh, we're just uh, very, very proud to be a part of uh, uh, such, a, uh, such a wonderful organization uh, in the U.S. and uh, around the world. Well, it's a pleasure to talk with you, and again, the call sign here is Kilo Foxtrot 7 Echo Tango X-Ray, and I am a brand new ham radio operator, uh, licensed for less than six months, and I have hair standing up on my arms right now, just the pleasure of talking with you via the radio. Thank you. Uh, wonderful. What's your name? Name here is David, and I'm an emergency physician in Portland, Oregon. Seventy-three to you as well, and I'm going to give you um, a shout out from a good friend, um, Will AI4QT, who works at the uh, Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. A good friend of mine on YouTube. Okay, great. Hello to Will as well, and uh, and uh, hopefully we can make contact with him as we pass over uh, the uh, Southeast U.S. And uh, it's great talking to you, David. Seventy-three KF seven ETX clear. Oh my God! Yes! Wow! Well, guys. I'm going to keep recording for the people that are making contact and get their call signs here. Oh my gosh! Again, this was a low angle pass. I am amazed that we talked with them. Um, it is right now local 2013, and that was Colonel. That was Colonel Doug Wheelock. Um, and boy, I, I'm not kidding. I literally do have the hair standing up on my arms. That was exciting to say the least. Um, all right, guys. Well, thanks for tagging along with me, and we'll certainly try this again. I'm on the, I'm on the quest to make another QSO with the International Space Station call sign November Alpha 1, Sierra Sierra. So this is David, KF7ETX, Portland, Oregon, signing off. And okay, well, I'm just going to end this video real quick and give you a quick uh, peek at the antenna setup that I used today for my QSO with the International Okay, that's a dual band diamond antenna and it's mounted on a painter's pole and uh, you guys might remember that antenna mount from my Duracoat uh, video, but uh, I'll give some more information on that uh, coming up soon.